Hello, everyone. Um, I'm wanting to take a segment here and discuss something that has been in the works for me for a while, uh, something I've suspected for basically about 22 years now. And it's difficult for me. And over the last week at G-Fest, I more or less had it confirmed to me that I no longer and really never have fit into the Godzilla Kaiju fandom. And those who have listened to the podcast for a while know that on occasion I've taken the fandom to task on certain things. And um, after seeing videos, multiple videos in the week leading up to G-Fest about some individuals having issues with the fandom at large, that really stuck with me because not only have we on our podcast discussed how toxic this fan base can be, I have experienced harassment and bullying uh, for quite a long time within the community online. Nothing really in person, but I would argue the in-person bullying I've experienced has been more of being ignored and uh, not even being willing to be listened to. And so this is something that I'm calling why I am no longer a member of the Godzilla fandom. I want to say out of the gate, though, I will forever be a Godzilla fan in his movies. I am not going to stop watching the movies and interacting with kaiju material. But I am cutting myself off from the fandom at large. I, in discussions with anyone outside, when I talk about myself, when I say I'm a fan of this material, I'm going to just simply say I am not associated with the fandom anymore. And I will explain why, and I will go further here in just a moment as to how this came about and um, have some pointers uh, that I need to discuss about the fandom and about my own experiences and also what I have witnessed over 22 years of interacting with the community and more specifically online. Because, let's face it, that's how most of us interact. Because Godzilla, even though he has become more mainstream over the last decade, arguably longer, if you look at the impact Godzilla 98 had, um, Godzilla still is, and the kaiju community are still relatively niche. Uh, it's nothing like a Star Wars or a Star Trek where it's this humongous following. And so I'm going to be reading off a Word document, and I'm doing that simply because I don't want to be repeating myself, and I want to gather my thoughts, I want to be articulate, and I want to make sure that I hit particular points. So um, this by no means is complete because I decided um, as I got closer to the end of the document, I could have added a couple other points, but I decided that what I had hit on at that point already hit the major points. So um, I'm going to just start here as far as how I got here. Um, it This final decision to distance myself from this fandom came over this most recent G-Fest this last weekend, where... Not only I saw social media posts, overheard individuals, and heard some individuals at some panels um, where I realized there was I, I was no longer welcomed here, and that someone like me really is not welcome in this fandom. Um, just so much toxicity around the 98 film, and I will get a little bit more into it in a little while as far as just how ridiculous this fandom is in its treatment of not just people like myself who enjoy the film, but also that particular film itself. Um, I saw one social media post of an individual who was not at G fest, but posted this particular cartoon comic meme where 
this individual was talking to someone over the phone saying the Matthew Broderick Godzilla. Yeah, I love that movie. And the individual's dog was overhearing this conversation on the phone. And you see one panel where the dog grabs a pillow. And then later on that night when the, when the person, excuse me, is sleeping, the dog takes the pillow over the person's face and smothers them. And I saw several comments uh, from some people on that post that were something to the extent of like, hell yeah, and right on, and that sort of thing. Um, I just continue to, at GFS, just hear people lambast that film. And I have put up with this for 22 years, and I'm not saying people need to like the movie. That's not what I'm talking about. It's about... I think not only the overblown hyperbolic treatment that movie receives, but people like myself get. Another thing that I saw from, I, I saw a post from someone who was at GFest that weekend. They had attended the screening of Godzilla Final Wars, and they were talking about their experience. And then kind of towards the end of their post, they were talking about the scene between the Japanese Godzilla and the TriStar Godzilla, that fight, and how excited everyone was when the Japanese Godzilla in that movie obliterated the TriStar Godzilla in mere seconds in that film. And in the Godzilla Final Wars 20th anniversary panel that I uh, went and sat through about half of it uh, over the convention, one of the panelists decided to uh, take a moment to share some audio that he had of Ryuhei Kitamura that he had recorded for an interview involving Kitamura about that particular scene in Final Wars. And Kitamura said something to the effect of, no, it wasn't mandated by Toho to put in that uh, fight or to even involve the American Godzilla to begin with, but he wanted to see Godzilla the Japanese version kicked the shit out of the American Godzilla and kicked the shit out of him is more or less an exact quote from Kitamura. Um, the, my experience within the fandom has never been a good one from the beginning. And it started 22 years ago at a place called Rodan's roost. And after I just kind of, you know, I was oblivious to kind of the general, um, response from the Godzilla community at that time. I had been on the internet for like four or so years at that point, but never uh, had involved myself in any message boards or any place like that. And it wasn't until about 2002 that I stumbled upon Rodan's Roost, registered myself and started interacting with other fans. And I kind of just went in assuming, you know, it was maybe liked enough that, you know, people were okay about it. And I quickly found out that was not the case. Not only did people hate it, which kind of surprised me, but people were incredibly hostile and still, quite frankly, are about that film. And not only had I been harassed and bullied, I have been completely ignored for quite a long time as a result of my opinion on this movie. And I also believe um, maybe part of the reason why our podcast is not... Uh, potentially as popular as some other kaiju podcasts out there is because I share that opinion. <laughs> uh, as I mean, excuse me, I, I have shared the opinion that the 98 Godzilla is a better movie than most people say it is. And in fact, I think I've said once, if not twice, at least on this podcast over the years that I think it is better than a decent chunk of what Toho has produced. And Scrooge Jones at the 10th anniversary of the MonsterVerse had this 98 Godzilla hand puppet up there with him. And at one point, he himself said, look, it's not the greatest Godzilla movie ever, um, but I do believe it is better than, you know, about half of what the saga has produced. That's me kind of paraphrasing what he said. Um, I always knew that I probably didn't fit in, but this last week can put the cherry on top of the Sunday. It made me fully realize that I am not accepted nor wanton 
wanted in this fandom. And so <clears throat> what this means going forward, while I have by and large been pretty open about my thoughts on everything we discuss on the show over the years, I have prevented myself from going as far as I thought was necessary with certain opinions on film shows and criticisms of the fandom. Even though, and, and that means the gloves are now off. Even though, like I said, I, I more or less have kind of been a gloves off kind of person with, with this podcast, more or less stating my full thoughts and opinions on particular topics. I am going to be more gloves off. And I am not going to cater to the fandom anymore. Uh, even though much of my podcast prep over the years has been geared a bit more towards catering to what I want to express and not to try and win friends, so to speak, by trying to cater to what the general fan base wants to hear me and every other ka kaiju podcaster say about particular film shows, etc. Not anymore. And everything is going to be on display moving forward. As I stated at the top of this, I'm still a kaiju fan, but have officially disassociated myself from the fan base itself. Uh, if I tell someone I'm a Godzilla fan and a topic comes up about the fan base, I will claim I'm not a part of it and will explain further should the person or group of people ask why. I intend on going to future G-Fest, but nowhere near as often. And if I go, it's going to be more so for my son to enjoy, hopefully enjoy, as long as you guys don't screw it up, the experience that he's going to have at G-Fest rather than going for myself. And uh, if you're watching this before our uh, G-Fest 29 overview, I will uh, kind of explain a little bit more of that in that particular episode. If you've already listened or watched that before this, then you know why. So now that the gloves are off, um, I am officially going to start criticizing the fandom on what I think are some of the major issues within this fandom. Uh, some of these are experiences that I have personally uh, experienced. Others are things that I have not. Other things, it's been in and out with me. I will not be discussing the LGBTQ, trans, you know, transphobia, misogyny. I'm not covering any of that here. Uh, first of all, I am not female and I am not a member of the LGBTQ community. I cannot speak on to that. But at the same time, too, there were enough videos uh, discussing that subject prior to this year's G-Fest, and there are individuals who produced videos that can better uh, discuss that subject matter than I can. And I firmly stand in the side of the LGBTQ community and the side that uh, of the female fans. So now that the gloves are off, um, really people... It's been 26 years and you still can't get over the 98 film. How ridiculous and petty are you? You know what I do when I don't like a movie? I speak my piece and I never watch nor speak of it again unless it comes up in conversation. Yes, I talk about Shin Godzilla on here, a movie that I'm not a fan of. But that has to do with context of conversations and Jason sometimes poking the bear. Not to mention my mentioning of that movie is nothing compared to the fandom in general, still crying over a different person's artistic interpretation of the Godzilla character. I hope some of you recreate a popular pop culture character and receive criticism for it, just so you can receive a bit of your own medicine. Like I said, the gloves are off. Perhaps maybe it'll humble you to receive that criticism. I heard from someone on Facebook that when Final Wars was shown at the Pickwick one evening, people cheered during the Godzilla and American Godzilla fight. 
And even the 20th anniversary panel on Final Wars had a segment where one of the panelists brought out a recording of Kitamura talking about that fight and seeing one of the Japanese version to beat the shit out of the TriStar Godzilla. He also mentioned that that was his own doing and not something Toho mandated. And I'm repeating that stuff because I think it's very important to understand how venomous this fandom is towards a towards a movie. A, just a movie. Shit, people, grow the fuck up. 22 years ago, <clears throat> I really thought the Godzilla community would be a place I could find a welcome space, considering so many of us have been made fun of for liking this character in its films. And when I think about it, it is very strange that this community that has been made fun of and chastised would be so toxic towards its own people. It truly is unbelievable, because I thought potentially some of the most humbling and most welcoming people who are fans of a well-known IP would be the Godzilla fans. Was I in for a shocker? When Jason and I became fans, the Kaiju fandom was still a very niche group. It would be two years before the Godzilla King of the Monsters Trend Masters toy line would be released, and six years before the TriStar Godzilla was released. But the combination of how niche the fan base was for a while and how so many of us faced ridicule and scrutiny from friends, family, and others, I thought we could be one of those groups that came together and embraced one another with pride and excitement. Instead, when I came into the message board scene in 2002, I was met with bullying and harassment. Over time, some of that bullying and harassment has transformed mostly from being overt to more subtle, being ignored and talked over. I was incredibly shocked and hurt, but because I was young and naive in 2002 and would be for a number more years after those initial re interactions, I believed that time and getting to know me would win people over. <clears throat> nope. Because I was a fan of the TriStar movie, I continued to be bullied and harassed. I have noticed for all of my time interacting with other Kaiju fans that a vast majority of the fandom does not think for itself. And when I say the fandom, I'm not saying every single individual. I should have said this at the top of my piece here, but I'm not saying every individual in this fandom is responsible for all that I am talking about here. <clears throat> Instead, the opinions flow along with whatever popular or influential individuals think about a given topic within the fandom. I truly believe some of the hatred of the 98 movie stems from how enough or certain individuals perceived the movie when it was released. However, however I have noticed a small percentage since 1998 have come out in some semblance of support for the movie, even if they add some sort of modifier to their liking of the movies, such as, quote, well, it's a fun movie, but still not a Godzilla movie, unquote. Okay, whatever. This hive mind became excruciatingly prevalent in 2019 when Matt Frank had posted David Callett's assessment of Godzilla's revenge on his Facebook account about how the movie should be taken more serious due to its commentary on latchkey kids and how so many of them went out went without parental care for much of the time they were home due to both sets of parents needed to work long hours to make a living. I am not blaming Matt for this at all, and I want to be very clear about that. I was even a mild defender of Godzilla's revenge for many years prior because so many in the fandom claimed it was one, if not the worst movie within the franchise. Godzilla 98, though, was never considered for that title due to so many fans hating it. They simply didn't acknowledge it as a Godzilla movie. This was several months before that year's G-Fest in which Godzilla's Revenge was celebrating its 50th anniversary. Lo and behold, shortly after Matt's posting, some people were already lining up to agree with Matt and to defend Godzilla's Revenge. 
Some of the people whom I had noticed from many years prior had lambasted the film in Kaiju Facebook groups, and a couple whom I had known from some of those days at Rodan's Roost, who also criticized the film then, became staunch defenders of a movie they once called one of the worst. Even at G-Fest 27, a few months later, at a Godzilla's Revenge 50th anniversary panel, roughly 90 to 95% of that room suddenly cheered on the film as even a large majority of the hosts for that panel defended the film. Within a span of, at most, a few months, but no less than mere moments, Godzilla's revenge went from being utterly panned by the fandom for years to being championed. Interestingly enough, the excitement for that movie dissipated within a few short months after the, that G-Fest, and it hasn't even come close to being nearly as discussed as it was five years ago. Sure, more films have grabbed our attention since then, but for a film that suddenly grabbed the immense excitement of a fandom, disappeared as quickly as it arrived. Yes, some out there still defend it, but otherwise, discussion has either been near non-existent to some returning to their old ways of criticizing the film the way they did before, hoping that no one remembered that they, for a few months, did defend it. Sad and ridiculous. There is this desperate need for validation and being one of the quote-unquote cool kids in the fandom that so many within it refuse to have any opinion of their own or to share them and to stick with them even if they may not be popular opinions. While my experience with other fandoms isn't as involved, I have never seen this hive mind so predominant in other fandoms like the Kaiju fandom. Now on to hypocrisy. For a long time, I have pointed out how hypocritical this fandom is. In some respects, this hypocrisy sort of goes hand in hand with the hive mind problem the fandom has on occasion. The two sometimes are linked. When I expressed that some of the reasons why I enjoyed TriStar's Godzilla was because it was something fresh and new that placed the Godzilla character in a new perspective, I was met with ridicule and laughter. Fast forward to 2016 when Shin Godzilla was released, and about 95% of this fandom hailed it as one of the best in the series. When I w read why so many people liked that movie, the reasoning looked familiar. The fact Shin Godzilla cast the Godzilla character in a different perspective was the main underlying reason I read in so many others' comments. Look, you're free to love Shin Godzilla. I've even said as much numerous times on our podcast, even though I loathe the film. Because, quite frankly, I'm not a dick like so many are in this fandom. I even wrote out an extensive review on the plethora of reasons why I didn't like the film on our website. It's still there for all the world to see. Go read it. My reasoning is sound, even if you disagree with some or all the points I posit. But what I found to be interesting was that so many in the fandom were loving a film that was excessively pandering, had a Godzilla that with, abs with absolutely no, no personality, yes, the TriStar Godzilla has significantly more personality than Shin Godzilla, a film with no likable or relatable characters, a plot that didn't need Godzilla specifically to tell its story, and numerous character introductions in which a large majority will not make multiple appearances in the movie. This? Was the movie so many Godzilla fans defended? In a movie that was so slow and boring? This is what you defended? Another interesting aspect of Shin Godzilla is that over time, more and more fans have come out criticizing the film. I've also seen fans, most of them, trend on the older end of the fandom age spectrum that absolutely abhor the MonsterVerse. Okay, fine. You're more than welcome to do so. But like the hatred for the 98 Godzilla, much of the hatred towards the MonsterVerse is hypocritical and unfounded. Many of the criticisms launched at the MonsterVerse claim the films just aren't well made and, abs and are absolutely ridiculous without paying, quote, true homage to Godzilla. Really? 
You're going to go there. Look, it's fine not to like the movies, and I won't attack your taste, but I will attack your reasoning because, well, this fandom is absolutely toxic and needs its issues to come to light in order for the possibility of any change to, a change to occur. The majority of the fans I've seen use these types of attacks on the MonsterVerse are the same ones that celebrate the Showa era of Godzilla films, the films they grew up with as kids. So to those fans, I have to say this. You don't think much of the Showa era is absurd? That the Godzilla character got away from his original intent? That he didn't morph into an icon to bring to light some other issues that were plaguing Japan or the world? You are a moron if you do not believe neither of those things happened. And the most hilarious thing I've seen by these older fans is that they claim there are so many MonsterVerse fans out there claiming these movies are the best of all time. That they need to put them in their place. Once again, really? I've seen a few of these folks, the defenders of the MonsterVerse films, but they are nowhere near the amount of people that will staunchly defend the Showa era or any other era in the Godzilla saga. You find a minority to be threatening to your childlike wonder of the Showa era? How pathetic are you? They aren't lambasting you, so what does it matter to you? Most of these MonsterVerse superfans are younger fans who have grown up on the MonsterVerse movies, just like you with the Showa and Heisei era films. The films you hold so near and dear to your heart. Isn't one of the purposes of older fans to make sure their love of a particular IP continues with subsequent generations? Apparently, the kaiju community has done a piss-poor job of this from what I have seen. Just as you older fans, and again, I'm not saying all older fans. Just as you older fans have your own taste in film, so do the younger fans. Many of them may not care for the aesthetic of older films, and that's okay. But they are Godzilla fans. Some of the fans haven't had the exposure to the older films. So instead of bullying them, how about educating them that there are older Godzilla films and point them in the direction of where they can find those movies instead of being a man-baby. Most importantly, it's their opinion. Let them have it, just as you want others to respect and to let you have your own opinions on the movies. I have to say that there was something that came up about women in the Godzilla fandom right before G-Fest. I'm sure some of you saw it, and I even posted about it on our Facebook page, saying such behavior is not tolerated. But I have to say, absolutely no one, no one has stepped up to protect me or anyone else from my experiences when myself or those like me that enjoy the 98 movie are bullied and harassed. Where the hell are you guys? Where are you? Seriously. Nothing has ever come up from anyone about how that behavior should not be tolerated in the fandom. Obviously, I felt more at home in Godzilla 98-related groups than the standard Godzilla Kaiju groups. Not only because we share a common experience, sadly, but even discussions on other Kaiju films have been the most civil discussions I have had with any sect of the fandom in my entire life. I left many Godzilla groups and pages years ago. I did not leave the 98 groups, however. And I think I still may be a member of a couple other kaiju groups that, quite frankly, I need to leave. So many people claim that the Godzilla community is a family. And I heard this just over this last weekend, from some individuals. I roll my eyes every time this comes up, because it's assuming the fan base is civil and accepting, 
and it's not. Those that say, those that say that the Godzilla community is a family are people who don't like the '98 movie, which is fine. But trying, but try being someone like myself and enjoys the '98 movie. Do I feel like I'm a part of a family? I never really have. I've been bullied, harassed, and ignored, as have many others like me. So many of you are willing to step up to other forms of bullying, which is great. But you need to stand up to all forms of bullying. I thought about pointing out a couple of other problems with the fandom, but I believe I touched upon the major ones that have plagued this fandom the most. This segment was not easy for me to do. Over the past week, I had come close to convincing myself numerous times not to do it and to just let it go. I realized, however, that I officially felt like I didn't belong here. And in the hopes that the fandom will change to bring its problems to light. Problems that plagued me, but also ones that I've noticed have plagued others. This wasn't something that progressively got worse over time. No. My experience from the very get-go was not a good one in the Godzilla community. I've never felt welcomed nor accepted in any part of the Kaiju community, and much of that has stemmed from my liking of TriStar's Godzilla movie and never giving in to the fandom's hatred of that film. I am most proud for not changing who I am and what I like to try and fit into a fandom that is more concerned with gatekeeping and hive mind thinking than individuality and the differing views that brings to help enrich a community. I've never once asked anyone to like the TriStar Godzilla. Not once. All I asked was for acceptance of who I was, the opinions I held, and to be welcomed like so many others. I have sadly heard similar stories of other TriStar Godzilla fans over the years. My hope is that this gets out there and fans take it to heart to look at themselves and to be honest as to whether they have contributed to any of the toxicity I have lined out here in the fandom and in other areas that I didn't, and to change to be more accepting. An even greater hope of mine, although I have no faith that it'll actually happen, is for those in charge of G-Fan Magazine and the G-Fest convention to bring a lot of this and more to light, to start an open discussion within the fandom, and to say and to say the kinds of behavior that I have made this community so that have made this community so ridiculously to toxic for so many years is not acceptable and will not be tolerated. The reason why, though, I am not as hopeful that this will take place is because I am fully aware of a couple of the individuals that are in charge of the fanzine and convention not only hold similar views to the fandom at large and their hatred of the TriStar Godzilla movie but also helped to initiate it back in 1998. I truly hope they proved me wrong in my assessment of their likely unwillingness to act, but I am not going to hold my breath. For now, however, and perhaps in perpetuity, I am a Godzilla fan, but I am no longer a member of the Godzilla fandom itself. I appreciate any of you that took the time to listen or to watch this. Please go out there, try to do better, and to not accept bullying and harassment. Thank you. <laughs>